Today, a step toward getting back to normal and putting the pandemic behind us. The city of Tampa is discussing the possible return of parades and festivals. Eight on your side's Beth Rousseau is live in Tampa this morning with a look at what they'll be talking about. Good morning, Beth. Good morning, Avery, and if you're anything like me, you just can't wait to get back to some of these really fun events. Now, Tampa City leaders say that the permits they're talking about today are just procedural. So in the case of Tampa Pride, it would mean shutting down the parkway here in Ybor City from 7th Avenue all the way down the road. So I talked to event leaders, too, and they say really any movement forward is a big win for them because they tell me the crowds that you can see in this video make parades and festivals their biggest money makers. They need those funds now more than ever because of the coronavirus cancellations in 2020. Today, city leaders say that they're going to be talking about permits that will keep Tampa moving in the direction of allowing the return of those parades and festivals in 2021. However, the events aren't going to get the official go ahead until closer to their scheduled dates. What that's going to do is it's going to allow city council to see where we're at in this pandemic and really whether or not it's safe. The president of Tampa Pride says their May 22nd parade is a make or break for the nonprofit. What we were told is move forward slowly at a steady pace where you want to be, uh, be a little lucid and, you know, and we did that and uh, probably around close around a, a month ago at the beginning of March, they said move a little bit faster. I went ahead and I asked city leaders what they're going to be looking at as we get closer to these scheduled events to see whether or not they're going to be allowed. They say the one thing that is a must is that the COVID rate has to be 5% or lower. We're live in Ybor City this morning. Beth Russo, 8 on your side.